a pros list exclusive. Patty, what is there that? There he is. There he is. Wow, that is an outstanding beer. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. How long has that been? Um, man, like right after the season ended, I let it go. Nice. Yeah, actually, there right any... before the season ended, and then, yeah, it's been like are, a couple months. Are there any signs of stopping here? Are you going to let this ride all off season? Oh, uh, man, I might get it trimmed up, but, yeah, it's definitely not going anywhere. You're through the itchy phase, though? I always, like, have trouble uh, sleeping. No, no, I, I don't ever go through the itchy phase. I'm, really? Yeah, I'm pretty blessed. With that. <laughs> that, yeah. that is outstanding. <laughs> How was your Thanksgiving, brother? It was good. It was good. Very low-key, just yeah. with family. What about you? Nice. We were, I was just saying, we, we were in the backyard. That just kind of was a struggle with the wind yesterday. But Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, me, my parents, my wife, her parents, and uh, my sister. So it was really nice. nice. It was cool. Nice. Yeah. But, well, good, man. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank Taking you for having me. Taking some time out of your Thanksgiving. Um, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit. So this was your first full season. Yeah. In a weird year. Tell us a little bit about the experience of playing in front of no one. Did it diminish anything, you know, that you feel emotions day to day? Or was every time you went out there still just pretty surreal? No, I mean, it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's weird, though. Like, the minor leagues, you know. I think you're covering the mic. Oh, I am? <laughs> there you go. Are we good now? Yeah. Well, so, yeah, like I was saying, pitching in the minor leagues and, like, going to rookie ball right away, I think that, like, kind of helped. Yeah. Um, there's no fans there. Kind of gets you ready for that. I mean, you would never predict that you'd be in a big league stadium with no fans. <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, it was still. I mean, you're pitching against big league hitters, and you got big leaguers standing behind you in the in the field. So, you know, your adrenaline's still pumping. Yeah, it was not a problem for you to get up for those. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And uh, so obviously, got to be pretty surreal getting to pitch in Anaheim for you. Yeah. You know, when I met you with the Astros, you got traded over. Pretty exciting deal, and now you're pitching, you know, literally for the hometown club. What's that been like? And and on a night-to-night -night basis, when you've made starts, when your family has been able to be there, what's that like? It's crazy. I mean, my my very first start uh, at home, I had like all my friends, all my family, and then uh, you know, my mom texted me after the game and said, "Come out, like we want to see." You. I was like, "All right, cool. It's gonna be like my family and maybe a couple of friends." There's like 40 people out there. That's awesome. Just like yelling, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, it's a bit much, but it's pretty cool. It's, it's, is it uh, overwhelming? It's, it can be at times, but it's Do you really get hit cool up every me. start, like, texted for tickets? Or no, I actually. Started to get like cool the, about that? Yeah, everyone's really mellow about it. It's just, like, usually only my family hits me up, which is really cool. My friends are very uh, laid back about it. You know, they come. They still support. It's awesome. Right. Yeah. Right. That's awesome, man. Well, so off-season-wise right now, uh, what are we in? Almost the end of November. Where are you at? What's your typical off-season training look like? And, and are, are things adjusted because this was your first – was a bigger workload of a year for you at, at the major league level, or are you still going about things normally? Um, the only difference I'd say this year, I gave myself, like, an extra week. I usually take, like, two weeks right off the season to just relax and, and you know, uh, recover. But, you know, this week I took, I took about three and then got back into it, and then I just started throwing again about two weeks ago. So – you know, everything's starting to roll, and, and, you know, it's not much of an off-season anymore. Yeah. Where where are you training these days? Um, in Irvine, the Sanford uh, – actually, I don't really know the name, per se. It's it's uh, getting up and started right now, so everything's getting uh, awesome. built and still put in. So, it's uh, yeah, it's a work in progress right now. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, the pros is just kind of all about informing younger kids and high school kids, at least this series, about kind of – the development to get to the major league level. So yeah. starting out as like a 14, 15 year old and then progressing through high school to the point you were drafted, were there certain steps you took that you felt really put you in a better position than other kids were in? Um, in high school, I think the only thing for me was like, I, I was playing different sports all the time. I never really, you know, I, I focused on baseball in my junior year. And then after that, you know, I, I said I wanted to go back and play football my senior year. Like, I just like to, to, you know, mix it up. And in high school, I wasn't really a big, you know, go to travel ball every other week or every weekend. I wasn't playing year-round. I, I, I feel like I kept my body pretty fresh right. um, from, you know, mixing it up. And, yeah, I didn't really have, like, that big of a sense of, you know, how to work out for baseball back then either. So, right. 
that's definitely a big factor into that. So you think your athleticism really is what allowed you just being athletic, playing multiple sports is what allowed you to get to the point where you were in a position to get drafted at all. Yeah, that's yes. For me, I think that that was my case for sure. And so developmentally throughout the minor leagues, then once you started getting serious about your focus and how you were going to train, which probably had you, I'm not saying there's a right or a wrong way to do it, but this is yeah. all stuff you can do at a younger age, obviously. Yeah. Once you started kind of the specific focus into baseball and really like started to get going with how we, like understanding how your body moved and what you were, wanted to accomplish on the field, what were some of the steps maybe you took or things you learned that you needed that you didn't know you needed before? Yeah, so after my after the 2016 season, I, I came in to, you know, work out with Josh and with you, obviously. And, and mm -hmm. that was like, that really opened my eyes because he had like high school kids coming in as well. And I was like, man, if I had this in high school, like, I, I think things would have been a lot different. Like, I would have been right. a lot better. And uh, yeah, I think it's just really important to start young and, and be consistent in your training and, you know, focus a lot on recovery as well. Not just like, you know, going For out sure. playing every single day. Right. You know, that is a, that is a big, big benefit. <laughs> yeah, there's big benefits in, in recovery and, and eating right and keeping your body fresh. Have you, are you like fully immersed major league or you got meal plans now? Uh, or... I do have meal plans, but no, nice. I'm not, I'm not completely submerged <laughs> in that yet. Uh, I should be though. Yeah. yeah. That's something I'm trying to do. How is the, has the nutrition, what's your diet like? If you, if that, I don't know if that's private, but. No, I mean, it's, it's not like a strict diet. I just, yeah. eat, you know, like as, as uh, healthy as I can, as, as like much real food as possible, not as much processed stuff, you know, right. definitely stay away from the fast foods. Nice. So as a player yourself, let's talk a little bit pitching wise. So I know you've made, obviously your stuff has improved as you've, progressed as a as a player now i don't think mm -hmm. like anyone would really, i don't think you'd argue with that <laughs> when i saw you a few years ago you were you know not throwing as hard as you are now did not yeah. have this wipeout slider <laughs> what what kind of changed developmentally what did you did you was it something that you made a conscious effort to be like i think i need to do this better or has this just kind of come as your body's matured and as you understand yourself more yeah i think it's a, a good mix of both um you know, I'm, I've been blessed to have really good coaches and, and really good instructors in the way they they uh, translate, you know, whether it be the analytics or, like, delivery verbiage to me. Just the, I've been very lucky to have a good, consistent role of coaches in my life. And uh, I think that's played up or helped me play up to, like, the big league level. And, you know, the training I do every off season. I think just a whole mix of, uh, you know, getting my body stronger and then, you know, understanding pitching as I go along, obviously through the minor leagues, you learn a lot more and, and then get into the big leagues. You, I mean, it's all thrown at you. Right. Yeah. What, um, can you talk a little bit about the development of the slider? I, I watched a few starts where you just, people just did not see it or just couldn't hit it. What, is there something you changed to make that pitch just, you're just a really nasty out pitch? Uh, I don't know if there was anything like in particular a certain drill or anything. I think it was just getting more reps in my throwing program. Yeah. And I think that was like the biggest thing for me is, is throwing, uh, having like a pitch development phase at the end of every day in my throwing program. I would, you know, rip sliders or I would be throwing change-ups. And uh, I think that's just like what ultimately helps you out because you can't get on the mound every day and, and right. get those reps. So, uh that last like 10 to 15 minutes of my throwing program is pretty big, especially for so that's what you've added that in. You have a portion yeah. dedicated just to feeling spin or trying to do one thing with a pitch or something different. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Nice. What about in season, just as a starter, would you mind taking us through a normal five day routine? I think yeah. that's awesome information for people to hear. Yeah, definitely. So uh, the day after a start is obviously, you know, your body's kind of feeling it depending on how long you went in and, you know, there was somewhere I only went to, so I wasn't feeling the, that much of a toll, but still, you got to stay consistent with it. And, uh, yeah, so day one would be uh, pretty, like, heavy on the conditioning and, and uh, you know, getting the blood spinning and then getting in the weight room and, and moving around, uh, throwing around some weight, and then, you know, just really recovering. The first two days for me were big recovery days, and then day three, I'd get on the mound, throw a bullpen, uh, get a good upper body lift in, and then day four, another – little mellow day for me uh more so running and mobility and then day five and getting ready to go out there and pitch before a start are you do you get in the weight room at all do you get on a yeah. cardio 
So the day of my start, I get in there about, I think it's two hours before I'm going to go out and stretch and throw on the field. And I go and do a little bit of mobility stuff. And then uh, I get in the weight room and I do like a, a good 20 minute, like little pump just to get my body going. Yeah, I think that's interesting. A lot of, yeah. I think a lot of pros I see do that, but I, as a young kid or anything, yeah. it was like, you're told like, oh no, rest. Like you need yeah. all of your strength. Exactly. But, yeah. But getting but a little pumped. Out of you, I mean, right. Like, exactly. It kind of yeah. gets it going. Yeah. No, that's interesting. That's very cool. Yeah, definitely so, something I developed uh, later in my minor league career. For yeah, sure, for yeah. Sure. I I just think it's not really taught at a younger no, age. Everything is really. like, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. Um, so going forward this year, what are like some pers – do you have any personal goals? Are there certain things, like not maybe not benchmarks, but are there yeah. things that you'd really like to see yourself do better? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously just stay consistent. My biggest thing is I just, I, I just want to stay healthy and stay available for whenever they need me or whatever my role is going to be. So, um, that's just my biggest thing is, is developing a, a pre, a pre throw and a post throwing routine that, mm -hmm. that'll, you know, reset me every day and, uh, have my body feeling fresh. I don't really have any numbers goals per se. I just, right. you know, I just want to be out there. I want to, I want to help my team win. That's pretty yeah. much it. Nice, man. Well, this was really cool. I appreciate you joining yeah. me and taking some time out of your Thanksgiving morning. No, the five-day routine, the, hearing the five-day routine is, is very cool. I just don't think a lot of people appreciate, like, exactly yeah. that it has to be so regimented for you to be successful. And so, like, in the playoffs, when guys come back on three days rest or two days rest, like, yeah, that's, so that's a big stuff. feat. It's not that easy of a yeah. thing. It's not just yeah. like, oh, he lost the day. It's this guy just has to go grind this out, and his yeah. body is in a different place than it would be ordinarily. Yeah, I think people really underestimate the toll. Right. Pitching, starting even coming in out of the bullpen takes the next day. You are. It it's, takes a lot out of you. You're aware you pitched that day before. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're reminded every five minutes. Yeah. It. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you getting on here. Best of luck to you this upcoming season. And uh, I look forward to seeing great things from Absolutely. Patrick Sandoval. Thanks for having me, bro. Awesome. It's wonderful yeah. to see you always. Yeah. Have a good one. You too, man.